Hey everyone, today I'm not so happy. So this is my Arturia Keystep keyboard. It's my main keyboard. I really love this thing. It's really small and compact. You can just put it on your desk so it's always there if you need it. But still it has 32 keys, so it's really perfect for me. There's only one problem. Let me show you. Unresponsive key. Now at first I thought, you know what, I've had this for a few years, let me just throw this out and just buy a new one. Now actually I was already on the internet mouth-wateringly checking out some possible replacements. But I thought, you know what, before again spending a lot of money on gear, let me first make sure that it is absolutely necessary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fix this. Me! Okay, now let's start by removing these knobs over here. Not even sure if it's absolutely necessary, but it kind of makes it a bit easier. Okay, now let's turn this over and let's unscrew all the screws. There are quite a few screws here, but you know, it's not like I've got anything else to do or anything. All right, now let's see if we can take it apart now. I have to be a little bit careful because the key bed is still connected with some cords. So let's very carefully disconnect everything. Not sure if you can see it, but the bottom plate is very dirty, so let's start by cleaning that up a little bit. Okay, let's switch our focus to the key bed itself. There's still something I need to take out. So let's unscrew this plate. And now let's very carefully try to take it apart. We don't want to break anything. Yeah, let's also take out these rubber thingies. Okay, cleaning time. Now I'm using some uh, compressed air here. I've also seen someone take apart all of the keys, so he took out all of the keys one by one. I'm not exactly sure if that is absolutely necessary. I'm not doing it anyway. Now this keyboard was very, very dirty, so the good thing about this is that it gives me a chance to also clean it good for once. Okay, now let's also clean this plate because it kind of looks important. So let's uh, let's clean it. Um, I'm using some contact uh, cleaner for this. Not even sure if that is the best thing for it. I've seen some people use some alcohol, uh, kind of alcohol-based cleaning materials, but I'm using this and we'll just see what happens. Now, of course, I also need to clean these rubbery thingies. Okay, now let's put back together the key bed. So let's first put in all the rubber uh, stuff. And of course, also this plate.
All right, now let's also give the exterior a little cleaning. That also hasn't been done in a while. I'm using a uh, kind of moist towel. Also not really sure if that is the most sensible thing to do. But you know what? I like to take some risks every now and again. Okay, so now it's time to see if I can manage to put everything back together again. Okay, now I guess the only thing left to do is now to screw everything back together. All right, so that is done. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's put back the knobs that I uh, that I pulled off. Et voila! Now let's plug this thing back in and let's see if it still works. All right, so here we are again. I just plugged in the key step. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens when I press a key. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Let's just quickly try all of them. Okay, I'm gonna skip this one just to keep the suspense going. And now, for the moment of truth, has this key been fixed? Yes! So the moral of the story is, before you throw out your gear and spend a lot of money on replacing it, First, make sure that it's absolutely necessary. Many times it's relatively easy to fix the problem yourself. And second of all, I'm amazing. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Peace!